Hi everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Magical Diary Horse Hall. I'm Lady Shura. And I am Tryon Morning. You may have noticed a familiar scene right now. Yeah, should I explain it? Sure. So, if you were watching the last episode, previous to this, you'll probably notice that we had something uh, quite interesting happen, without Very. giving away too much in case <laughs> you didn't see the episode. This is um, taking place a few days ago, and we're going to choose a few different options. Um, well, this part we're going to do the same way, but starting tomorrow we have to choose a few different things. Yes. So, we'll just continue. Alright, so... We're not sure. I don't know if that's a good idea. You said yourself it always goes wrong. All his romances end badly, and he's had a lot of them. I don't want to end up with us hating each other. Isn't it better to keep things the way they are? Horace, the way they are is killing me. I can't sleep, I can't think, all because of you. I know that things could go wrong, but don't you see? It's too late. I can't back away now. You're not like the others. What we have is special. It's a risk, but if it works out, it will be wonderful. Um, alright, so I'm gonna take the chance. We'll take the chance on you. Okay. How can I say no to that? I feel awful. Really? Of course. Oh, Horace. He starts to put his arms around me, but then changes course and pulls back. I shouldn't push you. Too fast. I can wait. It'll be hard, but I can wait. I'll see you tomorrow. He hurries out of the room before I can get my tongue together to say anything else. <laughs> I care about him, and he cares about me, but I can't help feeling like there's trouble ahead. Boy, is there. <laughs> On Saturday morning, I get up terribly early to deliver the mail. I see a light in the room up ahead. Someone must be in there already. Probably Professor Grabiner, unless Minnie needed something. I head into the room. And find a scene I did not expect. Well, we did this time. <laughs> Professor Grabiner is lying on the floor, unmoving. The floor itself is marked with circles and swirling lines and symbols that look like letters, but not in a language I can read. And hovering above him is a menacing blue spirit with horns and claws. Run away, little girl. This meat is mine. And I intend to feast. Oh, no! All right, so if you want to see us see Professor Gravener, watch the previous episode. Yeah, we're going to have two branching storylines. Um, so two branching playthroughs of uh, Magical Diary, which we're going to be playing simultaneously. Yes. In this, this one, uh, branch, we're, we're looking, we're looking, for, looking help. for help. And the other branch, we're obviously saving Gravener and getting ourselves into a whole bunch of trouble, which you can witness <laughs> in yes. the other series. Yes. If that thing can take out a professor, I can't face it on my own. I've got to get help. I rush out into the hallway. And nearly collide with Professor Potsdam. Okay, wait, she was outside the whole time? I guess. Why didn't I boing into her? Well, I don't know, but <laughs> still. A monster's got Professor grabbing her! Yes, I know. Wait here. Wait, you know? <laughs> Did she arrange this whole thing? What? She steps past me into the room and closes the door behind her. I can't even hear anything in there. What's going on? I could leave, but I haven't picked up the mail yet. Oh, God, the What is with mail. her in the mail? Finally, I knock on the door. Professor, is everything all right? Come in, dear. When I return to the room, I find that Professor Grabiner is back on his feet and looks completely unharmed. There is no sign of the spirit creature or the strange symbols on the floor. There, all better now. Hmm. He walks away without a word. I still wonder what he was up to with that thing. Me too, and why was she, like, oh, I know. I guess she already knew about it. Maybe she can, like, sense it. He does so hate for anyone to see him making a mistake. What happened? Nothing you need to worry about, Poppet. He lost control of a spell, that's all. He was perfectly safe, what but he shouldn't have been trying such a thing trying to out there. What kind of spell was he trying to do there? I don't know. I wouldn't advise you telling him that, though. So everything's okay? Yes, it is now. Five merits to you for oh, quick wow. thinking and coming to help instead of making matters worse. Oops. Well, uh, we made matter worse than the other one. Yeah. Have a good day. Quite a bit worse. <laughs> She leaves me to my usual work of sorting through the mail. After finishing my rounds, I return to my room with the last bits of mail. My roommates are still in bed. I think I'll lie down for a bit and relax until it's time to go out. Well, that's right, we have our date today. Oh, and he's here. When we arrive at the mall, Damien offers me his arm. I, um, I don't know how to do this. <laughs> Just grab his arm. Hmm. However you want. You can take hold of my arm here, or my hand. Or you can grab onto my robe. Or you can walk behind me holding onto my cape. <laughs> what? I'm going to walk behind what? you holding onto your cape? Am That's I a, a child? That's kind of bizarre. I wish to have one hand each on your horns and your wings. I think that would be cool. Yeah, that would be kind of cool. <laughs> right. Hand. 
I placed my hand in his and for a moment I'm reminded of initiation all those months ago and how we first came to know each other. Now what? Now we walk. Wow, does she need, like, physical therapy to learn how to do everything again? <laughs> there was something I wanted to show you. Is it in your pants? So we progress along the shop fronts together, not going very fast, getting used to the feeling of being in each other's company on a date. A date. Oh my. I think we're headed for the accessory store, or maybe one of the kiosks nearby. But before we can reach a destination, someone gets in our way. Wait, I recognize her. Oh no, not another one. My condolences on your impending heartbreak. Get out of our way and leave her alone. Why, Damien? I haven't seen you so solicitous of fresh worms since darling Musette. Poor little Musette. Who's Musette? Didn't he tell you, one of his little girlfriends last year, until he got her expelled? I had nothing to do with that. Yes, and you were oh so sad, weren't you? For at least a whole day before picking up a new toy. What was his name? W wait, his? His? You're just jealous. Of you? Don't be ridiculous. I dumped him with the whole school watching. Oh, so everyone in the school, boys and girls, have been with Damien? Uh, it sounds that way. He's been the school slut, I suppose. <laughs> we both got what we wanted, didn't we, dear? Shut up. Horace, isn't it? I hope you haven't found... I hope you haven't somehow got the idea that you're his first true love. Well, You'd have, have to be idea. blind to miss his history. But he always did like them pleasantly stupid. Like you? Sorry, neither. That's why I got the best of him. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> That's what you think? Ta-ta, then. She strides off with a smirk. Okay, what? No, I definitely didn't think I was his first love. Well, no. I mean, it was obvious that he is um, a bit of a playboy. <laughs> That's your ex-girlfriend? It was a terrible mistake. Wait, wasn't she William's ex-girlfriend, too? I think so. She was the one that made him turn away from So uh, maybe she's the women. slut. No kidding. I'm sure that didn't help his problems with trusting people, either. Of course, she was only one of many. So, um, what happened to Musette? She was a wild seed girl, a freshman snake, last year. She decided that she had to research forbidden magic, even though she'd been warned. She wouldn't stop, so they expelled her. What sort of forbidden magic? I don't want to tell you, in case you get curious and get yourself into trouble, too. Right. Shall we go on? Yes. But we haven't gotten very far before I spot something that makes me duck behind Damien to hide. What's wrong? Um, nothing. It's just that... I saw Virginia over that way, oh, and I no, didn't want her to Virginia. see me. Oh, no, not Virginia. You're ashamed to be seen with me. No, it's not like that. But if she sees us together, she might come over and start scolding me about how I should have listened to her, and I just don't want there to be any more fighting today. Wasn't Angela enough? Maybe this was a bad idea. What do you mean? Coming out with you, here in public. Everyone's staring at me. Well, it could be your <laughs> wings and not just us, you know. <laughs> and your blue skin. I should go, because suddenly I'm Shepard. <laughs> Wait, I didn't mean to make you feel... No, it's not your fault. It's mine. I should get back to the academy. I'm I'm sorry I ruined your day. You didn't ruin my day. I'm sorry. Damien. But he uh, walks away. Why must he always be so difficult? Well, I think it's the whole wings thing. <laughs> um, <sighs> well, we just started this so we can yes, keep going. Yes, we can going. continue. God. Well, nothing simple in this game, is it? <laughs> no. All right, so let's do a green so we can get 35. We'll do some whites. But I have to say, it is funny how different he acts um, between this and what happened last yeah, time. Yeah, I'm confused a little bit. He oh, wait, I should probably easily. sleep, right? Yeah, probably. I would choose Wednesday for sleep date. Okay. So just do, no, that's study. Oh, Sleeping is a ZZZ. Z. Yes. Come on, really? Yes, it is. <laughs> All right, so what's gonna happen? Ooh, we got three green right away. Cool. Uh oh. Oh no. Uh. Oh, I'm scared. She's gonna scold us, isn't she? Did you hear? Hear what? Angela and Damien got into a total cat fight at the mall. I wouldn't say that much. What do you mean a cat fight? I heard he called her a hussy and she called him a slut and then he slapped <laughs> her so she started- Well, actually I think it was me that called him a slut. <laughs> I think so too, or me. Uh, so she started yanking on his wings and they had to pull her off and then he went home crying. Did we miss something? They used to date. Um, no, it's just a rumor. Really? It's probably Minnie spreading the fucking rumor. That is so not what happened. You were there? Uh, 
Wait, wait, wait. You mean you're the idiot freshman girlfriend they were fighting over? They were fighting over you? I'm kind of surprised she didn't assume it was us, given that we've been hanging out with him I know. for the last few Well, weeks. I guess she doesn't know, right? She saw us that one day. Oh, Remember, she uh, ahemmed us. Oh, yeah. No and no. I am not an idiot. We actually have 39 smart. Thank you very much. <laughs> you are if you're going out with Damien after everything. But anyway, I heard that's what Angela called you. It's none of her business, and it's none of your business either. Why does everyone keep trying to mess this up? Yeah, don't you remember what she did to William? Because you're being stupid. He uses people. Everyone's trying to stop you from getting hurt. It's because everyone's always harassing him that he's so messed up. Well, I don't know. He seems to be pretty bad at using people <laughs> as well. Um, I, I don't know. Yeah. Do we really have to fight about this? There's no point. It's obviously too late anyway. I'm not stupid, and I do want to know more about why everyone thinks that relationship is dangerous, but I can't- I clearly can't get a reliable answer from Virginia. I need to find someone more objective to ask about the past. Who would know what really happened to Musette? The professors, probably? Or Minnie? But I don't know if they'd tell us, because it's probably like a William? student confidentiality issue. William? Minnie? Yeah, know. but if it's part of Damien, he's probably going to exaggerate if it's, like, bad. Yeah. If I want to find out what happened to Musette, I should probably ask an upperclassman who was there at the time, but not Angela and not William. Someone more objective. The best would be a snake. If Musette had a roommate, no that girl snakes? would be a sophomore now, but I don't know any of the older snakes. So that's how I ended up knocking on Isabel's door. Who's Isabel? Oh, oh she's the green-haired one, green the one that was, uh, the horses were gathering in the hall. One. Yeah. <laughs> yes, do you need something? Hi, I was, I wanted to ask you a question. Do you know anything about a girl named Musette who was a freshman last year? Oh, she left. Wait, I thought we were asking a snake. She's a horse. Uh, horse isn't the brightest. <laughs> yes, but do you know why? She was a wild seed. Sometimes they do not fit in, even more than snakes do not fit in. It's always a sad story when they decide to leave. So much potential lost. Yeah, real sad. So she just went home? As far as I know, yes. So Angela says Damien got her kicked out. Damien says she was studying for a bit of magic, and Isabel says she dropped out on her own. This is not helping. Sounds like no one knows what really happened. If you want to know more, you should ask the headmistress. She handles all of the cases of students who leave us. She's Why are you asking? Tell us, though. Were you a friend of hers outside of school? Just curious. Thanks for your help. Of course. Yeah, thanks for your non-help. <laughs> I know. I wake up suddenly in the middle of the night. I'm not sure why. I thought it's I heard someone something. Jamie again and Did someone speak? Virginia. I wait a few moments, but I don't hear anything except Virginia snoring. Back to sleep, then. <laughs> All right. Some more red magic. Wow, January's already done with. That was oh my quick. god, that was. Ooh, crush. You crush people now. Crush Damien's heart. <laughs> I suppose. Uh, oh. oh, she's a snake. Yeah, let's ask her. Wait, is she a freshman, about Raven. Mm. I don't remember. I think she's the only snake I know. <laughs> I think she was at freshman orientation. Because oh. I remember we were like, oh, it's a vampire! Oh, like, yeah. All stupidly. Darn it. Raven is walking slowly along the hallway, staring up the ceiling and talking to herself. To be or not to be, that is the question. I'm guessing she's a part of drama club. <laughs> I'm guessing so, too. Are you alright? What? What is it? What do you want? You sounded sad. Is everything okay? <laughs> Horus. <laughs> Horus, really? I am rehearsing. Surely you are familiar with the works of the Bard. I wouldn't be too sure about that. Sorry. Horus, really? Come on now. It's fine. We all have our individual talents and challenges. So, is there a play? No, not yet. The play is in the spring. The auditions are on Monday. Ooh. What play is it? We are performing a musical. The Small Place of Purchase of Frightening Things. <laughs> oh, okay. Or otherwise known as A Little Shop of Horrors. Yes. Is that just her doing it or is the game? Do you intend to try out? Uh, no. And why are you rehearsing Shakespeare for that play? You know, it really fits. <laughs> then, if you'll excuse me, I should be going. Oh, the staff this room, room again. Every time I see this room now, I'm going to be scared. Uh-oh. Professor Grabiner walks in while I'm sorting the piles of mail, by the way. Good morning, sir. Miss Harrington. You may or may not be aware that there will be two holidays celebrated later this month. Valentine's Day and the Winter Renewal. Oh. Mm, winter Renewal. Winter Renewal? Well, I know about Valentine's Day. <laughs> Each set of class officers is expected to sell Valentines to the members of that class. I thought our fundraisers were usually about taking money from people outside the school. No, we take money from wherever we can. In this case, the act of purchase is of ritual significance. 
As class treasurer, it falls to you to decide the cost of your valentines. Professor Potsdam will purchase supplies in keeping with your costs. Any excess of funds will be donated to the winter ceremony. What should a valentine cost? That's a good question. Oh god, um, maybe... Well, keeping in mind that our weekly allowance is only $5, it probably shouldn't charge 20 No, maybe, should we do 5 I think five's a good median. Yeah, yeah. I think so too. Yeah. And it'll prevent, like, sludge because people won't send it to a bunch of people. I don't know, that sounds like it could be kind of amusing. I suppose about $5 is a good price. That's enough for some candy or something, nothing tacky. Yeah, definitely. Very well. He leaves me to complete my rounds. After I deliver the mail, I'm free for the day. What should I do today? Hmm. Thanks for your study. Try to get her smart up to 40, a nice even number. Yeah, that's a good number. And of course, Minnie's here. Good. Will she help us with her smart? Yes, she did. Thank good. you, Minnie. Good job, Minnie. Oh, we have another event. Uh oh, I'm coming back to my room from the bathroom oh, when I, I hear people arguing about it. Oh, shit. Oh, God. I damn. didn't say I wanted anything from you. I'll say it again. Move on. What's going on? I kind of look like their child. Look <laughs> like my hair. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Very disturbing. Um, what's going on? William turns and notices me. I'm sorry. I'll get out of your way. I wish I believed you meant that. Hey. Have a good night. He walks away. Such a drama king. Ah. I push past William and chase after Damien. Please don't run away. I reach out and grab hold of his hand. You don't have to be afraid, all right? I'm not going to let anyone tell me who I should or shouldn't be with. I'm not going to let anyone chase me away from you. You're such a sweet girl. I promise, I'm going to make things right for you. I'm going to organize a properly romantic date, one where nobody can barge in and try to spoil things for us. Just wait and see. When? I need a bit of time to make arrangements. It'll be a surprise. I'm scared. Okay. A surprise from Damien, I wonder what that can involve. In a private- oh, oh my another god. another event. Hi, Horace. Did you make arrangements for the Valentines? Yes, Minnie. No thanks to you. <laughs> yep. I mean, I made the decision. I don't have them yet. When do we get them? Next week. Next Monday, I think, we'll be doing the sales. All right. Instead of going on our way, though, she fidges in place, looking down at her hemline and then back up at me. Horace, can I ask you something? Uh, sure. What's up? If, if someone says he loves you, is it wrong not to love him back? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Where did that come from? Just, you know, Valentine's Day. Hmm. It's not wrong if you don't love them back. Yeah, whatever. You have to have your own feelings about something. Yeah. You can't just force yourself to feel a certain uh, way. Well, no, it's not wrong. You can't make yourself love somebody. Wouldn't you feel awful if you had to say no and would break someone's heart? I guess it could be hard, but it would be worse to lie, I think. Oh. Well, thanks. I should go. Okay. I feel like she lied <laughs> to someone about loving them. It seems that way indeed. Uh -oh. oh, Minnie. Sounds like she's gonna get herself into trouble as well. Oh, goodness, what's going on? All right. <sighs> well, that concludes our first part of this storyline. Yeah, the split path. This is gonna get all sorts of complicated now. I know, I'm scared. So I think I'm gonna do the numbering now for this series. <laughs> <sighs> I guess we'll figure it out by the time it's posted, though. I guess so. All right, everyone, take care. Have a good night.